Well, I was recently interviewing NYU professor Dolly Chug, who studies the science of good people, and she has a new book out called A More Just Future. And in it, she's really looking at biases and how biases impact the culture of a nation, they impact the culture of a family. And this is something that in chapter two, you tackle as well. Why is every culture from the nation that I just mentioned to that inside a group of friends or a family partially invisible to its participants? That's such a good question. Why culture is partially invisible. I think of it in the same way I think of growing up in a family. It probably took a long time for you to get to the point when you were a kid where you looked around and said, wow, this isn't the only way families can be. This isn't the only kind of dad you can have or mom or that when we're young, families are our whole world and it's like the air we breathe. Well, this is how it works. This is what <laughs> families do. And then as we grow up and we look around, we meet other people, we meet people from other kinds of families. We stop and reflect on our own family differently. Whoa, it wouldn't have to be this way. One of my sons came home from college after meeting lots of very, very different people at college. And he came home and said, Dad, we had a pretty boring childhood. And I said, oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. I'm glad that there, there wasn't too much difficulty in care. Because he began to reflect on the culture of our home, right? So I think one of the things that's really helpful is to look at other cultures, both, both in our own country, because there are many different cultures, many different kinds of communities in our own country, but also to travel to other countries because you begin to see different ways that people live and different ways that they organize their lives. And when we do that, it helps us look back at our own lives and say, oh, this is how it works here. It's just one of many possible ways that people can live their lives. So I think that you know, it's a long way of answering your question, but the reason why culture is invisible or partly invisible is that we don't have a lot of opportunities to compare our own culture with other possible cultures. And the more we can do that, the more we both appreciate our own culture and can be constructively critical of some of the things in our own culture that could be different and could be better.